number one is a Ford C-Max. I've considered these before. They're supposed to be extremely fuel efficient. This is a hybrid. I didn't realize it had so much body damage, but it does. I don't even know what year this is. It's a, uh, it's a 15 C-Max hybrid. I know nothing about these. When I hear C-Max, I always think of diesel. So you'll have to comment below. I, I don't have time to look it up right now because I'm walking around, but I think these are diesels. Surely not. That wouldn't make sense to have a diesel hybrid. To me, that seems really strange. The body is not horrible, but it's definitely busted up right here. A lot of scrapes, some light damage, dings. Eh, the quarter panel, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's wavy. The quarter panel's damaged right here. Rear bumper's pushed in. That could be pushed out. That's not a big deal. We got a busted taillight over here that someone fixed with tape. Pretty good size ding in the back door over there. And we've got a rock back here. And it doesn't, the door doesn't open. Okay. Let's take a look at the interior. I wonder if that rock has anything to do with why this is here. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, I really can't help but wonder. I can't get you back there, but look at, look at that rock. Do you think that rock may have, you know, maybe this, this thing struck something. Like, maybe this thing hit that rock. And that's why this is here. I don't know. I don't see anywhere under the front that looks like it hit a rock at all. Why would there be, why would there be a giant rock in the back? I don't, I don't, I don't, I just don't understand that. Let's pop the hood real quick. It smells kind of funky, but I'll be, oh, it's, it's really nasty. Like this is really, it's really nasty. Look at this. This needs a hell of a detail. Okay. I mean, I'm willing to give it a shot. I don't know. What's the market like for a C-Max? You know what I mean? Meanwhile, I'm standing right next to a damn Corvette with a 427 under the hood. <laughs> is it just me? It looks like this engine is... Oh, wow. <laughs> this is listed as a run and drive. Okay, so I see what happened. Um, the engine is busted off of its mount. I don't know how well you can see that down there. Uh, right, right there where my finger is. The engine is busted off of its mount. The coolant is gone, so it has no coolant in it at all. Brake fluid. It's still got brake fluid, but it's lost all of its coolant, and that's why the motor is tipped down like that. It, so it definitely ran over something. Maybe it did hit that rock. I'm not, I'm not interested. Now this coolant right here, I believe is from the inverter. So the inverter coolant is the engine coolant. So it still has engine coolant, has no inverter coolant. I'm just going to say uh, with the engine hanging off like that, not interested. Next we have a 2013 Chevy Corvette. Now it doesn't have any badges, but I'm pretty certain this is a Z06, right? <laughs> okay, kind of sick, man, kind of sick. I like it. I actually like it a lot. Oh, 60 year anniversary. Check that out. It's a convertible. The body looks relatively good. Aside from whatever happened in the front, it looks like it's just missing the front bumper. Maybe it took a light hit there or something. Uh, 427 dry sump. This thing's a beast. This thing is a beast, guys. Here's your dry sump right here. This is your oil dipstick. And it has no oil in it. Although it's possible that because it's been sitting a while, it's just not reading. So your air intake is missing over here, and it does look like it took some damage. Remove and install. Crash bar is no good. These parts down here are no good. Remove and install. Claims this fender is no good. Although, I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't know. I don't know. This one is missing the keys. This is a theft recovery. And it has no keys. So I'm not sure what this is all about here. 
no odometer but then it says 73 735 so i'm assuming at some point they got the odometer it does have a key which is interesting it says it has no key and so this is a non-runner non-runner no key but the key is in it should we should we try it should we try it guys let's do it all right so we finally got it to open the doors it says no key but the key is in it right here so we'll find out if we can get her to do anything oh it runs yeah she runs and it's listed as a non-runner how about that the deals you can find out here guys i'm telling you you got to come out here and check these things out for yourself i find cars out here all the time that say they don't run and they'll fire up immediately just got to put a jump pack on it yeah this is a steal it's sitting at about 7500 dollars right now gears feel good nice good oil pressure it's a steal right here guys we're going to keep this one on the watch list moving on to the next one Next, we got a 2007 BMW 335. I think this is just an I. I don't think this is an XI. Overall, it looks pretty good. The miles are high, 166,000 miles. Oh, I like that exhaust. That's not factory. That's not factory. Is it? Surely not. Surely not. So the damage doesn't look to be that significant to the front, but then again, I could be wrong. I've been wrong about a lot of things lately let's oh wow okay um <laughs> i'm not sure we can even pop the hood i don't even see the the hood popper thing anywhere where where is it well i'll tell you what if i can't get the hood open we're done i guess we can try to pop it from the inside although i'm, I'm pretty sure with as high as that hood is it's already popped yeah that's not doing anything does it have power let's try it no no power great okay well i will keep fiddling with the hood and uh, we'll see if we can get open if not then we'll just move on to the next one all right we got the hood open let's see if she wants to cooperate with us now no we have lights but nothing is coming on. Oh, you know why? I'm an idiot. I forget that this is the BMW you have to plug the key in first. Now, I already checked the fan. I made sure the fan was not connecting with any parts of the motor. It spins freely. Well, it runs good. No coolant or low coolant, so we're not going to run this long. Engine sounds good. There's no warning lights other than low coolant. That window does work. Let's take a look in the trunk real quick. Oh, that exhaust sounds good. Listen to that. That sounds nice. I like this. Uh, well, antifreeze coolant. Apparently they were having problems with this before. More antifreeze and coolant. <laughs> and a whole bunch of stuff back here. Take a look under the hood. The hood was a bit of a trick to get open, but we got it. I don't know how bad everything is up here, but honestly, it doesn't look that bad at all. Looks like you need a bumper, possibly the header panel. And honestly, the radiator doesn't look like it's damaged it really doesn't it could be and we just can't see it but it doesn't look like the radiator is damaged to me and with all that coolant back there it looks like maybe this guy's been using uh been using coolant or maybe the engine's using cool maybe it's got a head gasket issue i don't know carefully i don't think that's going to shut but there you go there it is it doesn't look bad to me guys it's not a bad looking car comment below what do you think Next, we got a 2017 Camaro SS that appears to be haunted. 
or something. The windshield wipers are just randomly going by themselves. That's different. <laughs> I, the things cars do when their batteries go dead, uh, maybe somebody left the ignition on, left the windshield wipers on, I don't know, but I've seen it many times. The batteries go dead on these, uh, not just GMs, but just about anything, and they'll do some crazy things, man. Um, obviously, obviously this one's totaled. Uh, <laughs> Good Lord, look at that tire. Wow. <sighs> yeah, I could speculate on what happened here, but I won't. You know, I'm not going to say that this looks like it was somebody who didn't know what they were doing. Totally botched a burnout or a donut because we just don't know. Well, let's take a look at the inside because the outside truthfully doesn't look bad at all. Other than the windshield wiper is completely broken. I wonder how long it's been sitting here doing this. 27,000 miles. Bags blown everywhere. Side bag, seat bag. Ugh, let's sit in here. I'm sure it's not going to start. Right? Yeah, battery's dead. It won't even turn on. It's too, it won't do anything. But the windshield wipers are running. See, the car's not even on, guys. Like, it's completely off. <laughs> the windshield wipers... Alrighty, okay, let's move on to the next one. Here's another one that I'm actually interested in. A 2013 Cadillac ATS that's sitting at 2850 right now with only 67,000 miles on the odometer. So this is undercarriage damage. I think the color is nice. Kind of a unique color between, kind of between purple and blue. I like it, I like it a lot. This is not the plus four, so this is not gonna be all wheel drive. We got nice Bridgestone tires on the back, and it looks like we got the same Bridgestones on the front. Very good, very good. Undercarriage damage, so we'll have to try to get you guys under there and see exactly what's going on. Little bit of damage to the front fender, tiny. You can hardly see it right there, but I see it. A scuff right here on the front. So obviously, point of impact was somewhere right here. This is also pushed in. So something happened to this front corner, and that's what we're gonna try to get you guys in to see that's a parking block, <laughs> right? <laughs> I recognize that any day of the week. Look at the meat on those tires. Ugh, can I get you guys under here to even see it? What do we got? I don't see any fluids leaking. I don't see any suspension damage. No. I mean, there's a little bit of damage. Hold on. Hold on. We got more damage right here. All right, climb up in there. What do we see? A little damage there. Nothing significant. And what about over here? Got any damage under here? Anything serious? Looks like we got a vacuum hose broken hanging off right there. Other than that, that's about it. That's different. Huh. So this could be a good deal. 2800 bucks. Low miles, VVT, direct injection. How many horsepower is this motor? That's what I want to know, because I've heard a lot of people say that this thing is kind of insane. Before we start it, because it is undercarriage, let's take a look and just verify. I know it's not wet under there at all, so I don't expect that it's low on fluids, but there you go. Just wanted to double check. As I said, I'm actually serious about this car. I've got several on the list this week that I'm seriously interested in buying. I'm not sure a four-door Cadillac is really something we should get, but... Uh, dead as a doornail. Ooh, and a shattered screen. Look at that. Well, that sucks. Let's put a boost on it. See if we can get it fired up. Take two. Well, it works even with a, you know, I don't think the screen's broken. I think it's just, maybe it's just a cover. I don't know. Something's going on under there. We got a service engine soon light. What else we got? That's it? Just a check engine light. Okay. Ooh. Oh, power steering. Drive with care. Okay. So obviously something. Oh, wow. That was weird. Guys. When you have, when you're too close to something behind you, the seat vibrates. It it vibrated my butt cheeks, 
like no joke, vibrated my butt cheeks to warn me. I'd do that again. That was weird. Yeah. <laughs> It, it literally, when you're too close to something behind you, it vibrates your butt cheeks. While... <laughs> okay. I mean, it does move fine, but obviously it, it broke a line or something broke under there. It sounds healthy. Yeah, I don't know. It's something to consider. Let's pop the trunk. See if we've got any parts back there. Sometimes just because you can't see it doesn't mean that there's not something wrong with it. And sometimes you can find those parts back here. So coming back around to under the hood, um, I'm pretty certain this is electronic power steering. It is. I can see the motor to the power steering down there. So obviously something under there has been damaged with either the rack or the wiring going to the rack something down there has been affected uh everything else looks fine you just have to buy this knowing that there is going to be something wrong with the rack and pinion and really it shouldn't be that big of a deal to replace when i get home i will look up how to replace a rack and pinion in this just to see how complicated it is and to get price quotes from ebay i do like this car although this isn't at the top of my list Next, we got a 2013 Dodge Ram 2500. No, it's not a diesel. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a Cummins in it. It's got a Hemi. But I figured it's worth taking a look at anyway. I'm not sure if this is salvaged or not. It sure doesn't look it from here. 195,000 miles. That's quite a bit of miles, but I'll be honest with you. Hemis, they do tend to last. That's different, unique. Uh, I'm gonna bet this one is dead as a doornail. Um, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. What? <laughs> that, that could be problematic. It's listed as a run and drive. I think we need to pop the hood though <laughs> and see uh, see what's going on under there. Is it missing pieces? It's dead as a doornail, and I figured as much. That's uh, pop the hood. Okay, this is a repo. It's a repo. I didn't think this looked like a salvage car. I don't really see anything wrong with it. Oh, wow. There, I see something wrong with this one, though. Good Lord have mercy. That's not even part of this video. Um, so the back bumper was taken off, but I don't see any damage anywhere back here. It looks like the back bumper was just removed for some reason. And it's there. Seven pin and everything. So I imagine the bumper just go right back on. Yeah, this, this doesn't look... This doesn't look bad. Don't tread on me. Ooh, boy. We the people stand for the flag, kneel for the fallen. Nice. This is not bad at all. Hey, now, close. Not bad. Tires are, ick. <laughs> they're okay, but they're definitely not great. Is that the factory hood with louvers in it? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Huh. Okay, well, it does have a throttle body. This looks like it would run. I mean, it is listed as a run and drive. Let's check uh, check the trans. Oh, that's got a long dipstick, doesn't it? That's what she said. Trans fluid looks good. It's not, it's not bad, but it's not fresh. And that's honestly, I know a lot of you guys don't understand my logic, but... Believe me when I tell you, when I see fresh transmission fluid, it does concern me. When I see old transmission fluid, it concerns me. We got green antifreeze. That's good. Green antifreeze, decent transmission fluid. Let's check the oil. And you guys know, I only do all this on cars I'm actually interested in. Let's see. Wow. That's severely... Oh, no, it's not overfilled. Wow, the dipstick goes this far up from tip all the way up, guys. That's insane. Okay, so it's it's where it needs to be. So I guess we can put a jump start on it. Can I get this in here from way back here? Is my aim that good? I don't know. I did it. I did it. <laughs> nice. I'm not going to lie. That was not That was not easy. Let's put a boost on it, see what she does. Let's see what a 200,000 mile ram sound. Whoa. Am I gonna am I gonna redo that or am I leaving that in the video? <laughs> uh, I almost busted my butt. <laughs> I 
I try to keep it kid friendly. All right. We got blue lights. Must have been a kid. Well, that didn't run well. <laughs> it even sounded like it backfired a little bit. Yeah, she doesn't sound good. Look, the lights are flashing. What is... Oh, these lights are flashing too. This truck is having some problems, man. What is going on with this? I've never seen anything like this before. Oh, it smells like straight gas. I feel like this is here for a reason. You know what I mean? There's something... Something's going on. We got messages? Service tire pressure system. And right front turn signal light out. Will it go into gear? Will it move? No, it doesn't want to move at all. Oh, the tranny, the transmission, it lurched. That's enough of that, guys. That's that's all I need to know. Walking away from this one. Next, we have an 03 Ford Expedition. Somehow, I feel like we've looked at this before. Wait, yes, we have. I remember this one. This is the one that I thought had a 5.4 but it has a 4.6 under the hood and it's got a dvd screen back here right that didn't work yes and you guys told me to buy it it's got 200 and some thousand miles i remember this what's it doing here i thought this sold like this is like what three four weeks ago and you know it's the right one because it's got the uh king ranch wheels right there with the rotted tires remember and you guys told me that most likely the tires are rotted because someone had rims on it and they just put these on it to uh, to trade it in. That's a little weird. Um, since we've already seen this, I don't think there's any reason to really review it. We know it runs. We know it goes forward and backward. The engine sounded healthy. And we'll also know that it has a dead battery and it's not going to start up. The stereo's been taken out of it as well. I mean, if it starts without a jump, great. No, I knew it. It's dead. I don't know guys, I'm a little a little sketched out because this one, this has been here a while and I could have swore it sold or it disappeared and now it's back. So uh, it's on the list, but I'm not, I'm not feeling this one. Next is the occasional carnage that I'll throw in here from time to time. This was a Hyundai Veloster. It ain't no more. Man, oh man. I mean, even the battery, look at that. Even the battery took a hit, man. Wow. Take a look at this engine. This is crazy, guys. Yeah, this this was one hell of an impact. Went right into the motor. Took the intake manifold completely off. Just gone. Broke the timing chain cover. Good night. Take a look inside. I didn't. There's nothing on here marked bio, so I think we're all right to look at this one. Yeah, I don't see any. I don't see anything that we can't show on video here. Wow. Oh, something went into the windshield. Good lord. I wonder. Surely that wasn't a person's head, though. I mean, it looks like the right place, but with the airbag right there, nobody's head should have hit the windshield. Uh, hopefully they were buckled. There's no blood. You can see blood in these things. So, oh, you don't want to close? Oh, it doesn't close. Wow, look how far. That's why it doesn't close. Look at the overlap here. How it just shoved everything back. This is crazy. I mean, that is wild, guys. Wow. Wild, man. All right. Moving on to the next one. Real quick though, I was right next to this and I'm like, no, I gotta look at this one. Gotta look at this one. Wow. Look at that. I mean, let's get you guys in here. Look at that, right? <laughs> oh, wow. What's it look like back there? 
that's wild. That is wild. Still got some of the seats back here, sort of. Airbags came out, burnt, the tires melted. Look at this. Look at that. Crazy. Next, we have an 08 Impala that's listed as a non-runner. Now, I've told you guys many times I love non-runners because sometimes you put a battery on them or a jump start and they fire right up. So the miles are 106,164. That's not bad. This is not a salvage title. It's a clean title Impala. It's an LT. Good color. Oh. Oh, this just happened. Look at this. The paint is freshly... Uh, that's a fresh scratch. Like, even the loose paint is still up here. Look at this. Look, this is this just happened. Something ran right into this, man. That sucks. That, man. I mean, this whole quarter is done. Look, it creased it up here, too. Golly. I mean, I'm sure you could get in and pop some of this out like down here, but you've got, I mean, this is a solid crease right here. That's a hard crease and a crease right up here too. That's not gonna come back out right. That's gonna require some work. Um, that sucks. I was really interested in this because I'm looking at it as a Toro car, assuming it'll start up. It's got the right miles. It's the right kind of car. Um, I had planned on trying to start this one up so I guess we'll go ahead and continue with that, but obviously with the damage to the back, yeah, it's it's not worth near as much to me at this point as it was. No power? Of course not. Let's get a let's get a jump on her. See if we can get her running. So I'm pretty sure that I could get this running, but uh, my my better judgment tells me not to do it. And by that I mean my fiance. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, this is sketchy. Um, there's like, this is, this is wire for a house. You know what I mean? Look at this. This, this is, this is wire for a house or a business. And it's like hanging hooked up to the battery and it runs over the alternator and goes inside the car. Yeah. I don't know. Chances are if you hook this up and it's really hard to say how they've got this wired, but in the housing world, uh, this is your hot wire, and this is your neutral. Your ground is this copper wire right here, okay? Black is always hot in a house, but it looks like they had this set up where this was actually run to hot, and the hot wire was actually ran to ground because like in the car world, you would think that black is ground. The red would be hot, but since there's no red, someone just, someone rigged this up. I don't know what they're doing here, I would I would bet money though if you hooked and you can tell it looks like this definitely went here as we just pulled it out but this one was going right here if you hooked this up it would probably run but you have to ask yourself why was this run like this like who why did somebody go to all this trouble something something something's off and and, and with that and the fact that this massive damage is back here that was not there in the pictures um, I'm gonna have to walk away from this one, which sucks because this could have been a good car. I love a wiring challenge. I think I probably could have figured this out and fixed it, but this right here, you guys know I'm not a quarter panel guy, man. I'm not a body guy. This is beyond what I'm gonna be able to do. Okay, so stay tuned. I hope you like the content. Did you give the video a big thumbs up? If not, give it a thumbs down. Drop your comments below. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Click that subscribe button, please. If you're not currently subscribed to the, uh, to the channel, take 0.2 seconds out of your life. Click that subscribe button. I would truly appreciate it. And until next time, stay safe out there, buddy. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.